So, what can you expect once you've started the forward tipping dumper? Well, there are two conditions you need to be made aware of. These are known as no load and load conditions. The main difference is the weight distribution on the front and back of the machine. When it is loaded, in other words, the skip is full, the front will be heavier. While when it's not, in other words, the skip is empty, it will be heavier at the back. This is because the engine acts like a counterweight. The stability of the forward tipping dumper relies on the correct choice of direction when manoeuvring around site, especially on slopes. First, we're going to look at driving the forward tipping dumper in a no load condition, which means navigating around the site with an empty skip. Always ensure you follow the designated routes laid out for you, as there is no load in the skip and the majority of the weight is in the back. In most cases, the correct way to get up a slope is to reverse up. This is because the forward tipping dumper is heavier at the back when it is empty and the machine will have better traction and greater stability. Then come down the slope forward. If for any reason you're unsure, you should always refer to the manufacturer's handbook.